All right. Hello, Janesville. My name is Kara Blue, and I'm the business librarian at Hedberg Public Library. And I'm here today with Alan Veerthaler, and he is a volunteer business mentor from the Madison chapter of SCORE. So, Alan, what does SCORE stand for, um, and how does it work? Well, we'll cover both. First of all, SCORE uh, was started by the SBA many, many years ago by retired executives of the SBA. The reason it was started is that as they let out small business loans, many of those individuals as entrepreneurs were failing. So what they did is they developed a volunteer group. SCORE stands for Service Corp of Retired Executives. And what these gentlemen did is they made contacts throughout their career and found a number of executives that were willing to volunteer their time to assist entrepreneurs and new business owners, people that were developing new businesses and help them get through the problems that exist with all startups. And that's the basis of SCORE. Great. What is, what is your specific background and how did you get involved in SCORE? Well, my specific background is I'm, I'm a graduate of University of Wisconsin Whitewater campus from their business school. My degree is in finance, along with management and economics. Uh, throughout my career, it has been all corporate finance for basically corporations uh, as small as 5 million and as large as 50 million over my career in a number of different areas from uh, OEMs through food processing, through wholesale, et cetera. So I have a very broad background, mainly related to finance. Uh, that's where I said. Uh, when I retired, I had a business associate by the name of Grant Geller, who he and I retired at about the same time, and he became a member of SCORE, and he asked me if I wanted to join, and that was several years ago now, and I joined, and here I am. Great. Um, can you talk about the specific ways that SCORE helps small businesses? Well, understand our Madison chapter, the Madison chapter of SCORE, we have approximately 50 mentors or participants. That, and so we cover every range of business that you can possibly imagine from marketing and sales, IT research, real estate, uh, business startups, uh, nonprofits, uh, all phases of business. We have some type of expertise within our membership. And we try then to match up the inquiry. Usually it's done through an inquiry uh, with a mentor that has the background and the ability to assist. If the specific mentor cannot assist, he has then the other members to go to to find someone or an inquiring client that can assist them. And it does not matter what type of problem the individual is having. I'm confident that we have the resources, the expertise within our organization to assist them. Great, thank you. Um, I've watched a couple of SCORE webinars myself and I know that there are many to choose from. I also hear that there are uh, seminars that SCORE gives. Can you talk a little bit about those? Yes, the, the seminars, we put out a schedule every year. Of course, this year is a little different with the pandemic. We should have had several going. But every month we put out one seminar, and that is that seminar is called Going Into Business. So if you're a young entrepreneur, you have a business idea, something that you would like to pursue, a desire or a goal, however you want to phrase it, then we ask people to attend this Going Into Business seminar. It lasts about an hour and a half to two hours, but it gives you the basic ideas of those items you need to consider when going into business. What's your idea? How are you going to market your idea? How are you going to obtain or produce your product? How are you going to sell your product? How are you going to stage the product? And then also the financial requirements of that. What's your product cost? What, it, what are your revenues going to be against your expenses? So on and so forth. We go a long way in this to help them develop a business plan. Now, most people consider a business plan, they say, oh, I need that for the banks. No, that is incorrect. A business plan should be the plan you develop for yourself as your roadmap, your track of setting your goals as you proceed over a one, two, and three-year period 
so that you can see if you are actually able to go into business, is it going to be profitable for you to do it? What are the risks? How are you going to market and sell your product? What are the expenses involved, et cetera? And then, of course, achieve your goal, which would be to be a profitable business, doing what you want. And for individuals that own their own business, to a person, they'll tell you it's the greatest thing they ever did because of the self-satisfaction they get from saying, I started it, I'm making it grow, and it's mine. And, and you can't put a dollar sign on that. It's it's really self, uh, a self-rewarding experience. Thank you. Um, does somebody need to have a business in place and an actively uh, an active business in place to utilize mentoring services from SCORE, Madison? Not at all. In fact, we we like to have people who have just started a business contact SCORE because we can help them uh, with any problems that they have. But we also have a whole initiative for, as I say, the entrepreneur, the person with the idea, the drive, the attitude, the aptitude that they believe they want to start their own business and they want to be successful, as I stated. They, we have a whole avenue for them to go down and with resources, tremendous number of resources for them to follow. I mean, you brought up the workshops, going into business was one. We also have understanding financial statements as another. We have tax entities and choices. In other words, what type of business uh, entity are you going to be? Are you going to be a proprietorship, a sole uh, partnership? Are you going to be a corporation, an LLC? All these things we will explain depending on what you want to do. We also have other workshops such as hiring your first employee, uh, nonprofit workshops, IT workshops. So we cover a vast majority of any questions somebody would have. Now in between there, if you're really interested and would like assistance, then we strongly recommend that you request a mentor and you will be paired up on a one-to-one -one basis with an individual that matches what you're trying to do. In other words, has the work experience, the knowledge overall and wants to help. All of our mentors want to help and will lead you down. So that if you have a question, you can, pick up the phone, you can text, you can email, et cetera, and I will guarantee you that you will get a response from that mentor within a very short period of time. For myself personally, I have clients now that have been with me and a co-mentor by the name of Tom Bradley, who is also our Madison chapter, for over four years. And we have watched this individual's business grow from just about six digits to over seven digits in revenue, from one individual with a part-time employee to eight full-time employees, and he's currently, currently adding. So, you know, I have retail clients that have moved from 600 square feet to 1,800 square feet, quadrupling their sales. We try to meet with these people as often as they want, generally at least once a month over a period of time, and answer any questions that they may have, whether it be just basic finance questions, whether it be insurance questions, whether it be IT questions, whether it be personnel questions, it does not matter to us because we know that if we as a mentor to them cannot respond, then we have contacts within our organization that will definitely be able to respond. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a very profitable situation for both us because we're in this volunteer business to help people and also for our clients because they are learning the process of how to manage their business and make it grow. Mm -hmm. That sounds wonderful. How does somebody um, get in touch with you if they are interested in mentoring services? Because you are, you are in the Janesville area, correct? Uh, I am in the Janesville area. Our, chapter is located in Madison, and the easiest way to get in touch with us is go to madison.score.org. And that will bring you up to our um, online 
sheet. And in there, it says you have several things that you can do. One of them is find a mentor. Mm -hmm. And you just click on the button, find a mentor, and it'll list a number of uh, mentors within the Madison chapter. It will give you a bio, a, a biographical background of their work experience, so on and so forth. And if that's the person you'd like, you just click the button and it will ask you to put in some specifics for yourself, namely how to contact you as a potential client. Right. And then we respond. There are also phone numbers there. There's an office number for our Madison office. Uh, there is an email address, so on and so forth. So SCORE becomes very, very accessible. Mm -hmm. And in my experience contacting the Madison office, I received a very prompt reply. So that was... So I can pass that along to everybody. Our goal is to reply to any inquiry within 24 hours. Now, we aren't always able to achieve that, but I would say 90% of the time we do, do achieve a response within, within 24 hours. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to add that, that, that I didn't uh, question about? Well, I want people to understand that SCORE is volunteer. And SCORE is different in the fact that there is no cost, no cost at all to having a SCORE mentor. This is a free service. We are partially underwritten by the SBA, which helps us with some of our local costs. We also do fundraising, et cetera. And we have several sponsors, banks and businesses, so on and so forth. But for our clients, this is a free service. And I think that becomes misunderstood at times, especially when we say we are somewhat sponsored by the SBA. So if people have inquiries or so on and so forth, understand there is no cost at all to becoming involved, all right? Now, we discussed workshops a little earlier. Workshops generally, because of the nature and the handouts and the materials that we as a chapter provide, there is generally a small fee, anywhere from 15 to about $25, maybe 30, depending on the workshop. But that's it. That's the total cost of becoming involved with SCORE. And we always look forward to and are excited to receive new clients, uh, especially those that have a dream and a goal, because we want to help achieve that dream and goal. All right. Well, thank you so very much for sharing this information about SCORE, Madison, and the work that you and the other mentors do to support small businesses, um, especially in our region here, including Janesville. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, please remember that business services at Hedberg Public Library are about helping you find information and resources not just from the books in our collection or our research databases, but also from the informed individuals and groups that are available in our region. Have a wonderful day and we will see you soon.